principle, from the principles of Islam, is that the Muslims must be united. The Muslims must be unified. The Muslims must be yadin wahid, one hand. It is not permissible, nor is allowable for any of us to have in our hearts or our minds that the present state of the Muslims in their differing and their splitting and being separate is something that is allowed. It is haram. It is forbidden by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It does not please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But rather we will bring the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a principle that every Muslim must know that the Muslims are one. The Muslims are to be united. And this is something that Allah Tabaraka has ordered. As Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah mentions in Al-Wasiyyat al-Kubra, the major advice, if you will. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ أَمَرَ فِي كِتَابِهِ بِإِتِّبَاءَ السُنَّةِ Allah Tabaraka ordered in his book to follow the sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَلَزُمْ سَبِيلِهِ and to stick to his path. وَأَمْرَ بِالْجَمَاعَةِ And he ordered that we be one group together. He ordered that we be one jama'a, one group together. وَأَمْرَ بِالْجَمَاعَةِ وَلِئْتِلَى To be together, to be connected together, to love one another, to prefer one another, to be loyal to one another. This is the order. وَنَحَانَ الْفِرْقَى And he has forbidden that we separate وَالِخْتِلَافِ And have differences. This is something we must know. This is something that we should be concerned about. For all of us are sinners in this regard. As long as Muslims demand or remain disunited and we're not striving night and day and making dua at the time that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has suggested that the dua or the ad'iya are acceptable and we're not making dua in our sajda that Allah ta'ala guide and unite the Muslims then all of us are sinners then all of us are sinners because we have fell or fallen into that which is haram that which Allah ta'ala has forbidden so Allah Taala says in ordering to follow the Sunnah in obedience to the Messenger, وَمَنْ يَتِئِ الرَّسُولَ فَكَرْ أَطَاءَ اللَّهِ He who obeys the Messenger has indeed obeyed Allah. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا لِيُطَاءَ بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ We have not sent a Messenger except to be obeyed by the permission of Allah. And Allah says, قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبْكُمْ اللَّهِ وَيَكْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذَنُوبَكُمْ يُحْبِبْكُمْ اللَّهُ وَيَقْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ Say, if you love Allah, then follow me. Allah will love you and will forgive you your sins. And Allah says, فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ حَتَّى يُحَكِّمُوكَ يُحَكِّمُوكَ فِي مَا شَجَرَ بَيْنَهُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُوا فِي أَنفُسٍ حَرَجًا مِمَّا قَضَيْتَ وَيُسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا They will not be believers until they make you a judge in all disputes that happen between them, or take, that take place between them. And do not find in their heart any distaste for what you have judged, but they rather they totally submit. And Allah Ta'ala says, that verse that we all seem to forget, وَاَتَزِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold to the rope of Allah together, and do not separate. وَاَتَزِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا Hold to the rope of Allah together and do not separate. Then Allah Ta'ala tells us in another ayah, rather Allah mentions in another ayah, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ فَرَّقُوا دِينَهُمْ وَكَانُوا شِيَعًا وَكَانُوا شِيَعًا لَسْتَ مِنْهُمْ بِشَيْءٍ Verily those who have separated in, split up in their deen, in their religion, you have nothing to do with them. And Allah says, 
ولا تكونوا كالذين تفرقوا and be not like those who separated and split واختلفوا and differed من بعد ما جاءهم البينات after true guidance has come to them and Allah says وما أمروا إلا ليعبروا الله مخلصين له الدين حنفاء ويقيموا الصلاة ويؤتوا الزكاة وذلك دين القيمة and they were ordered nothing except to worship Allah تبارك وتعالى alone sincerely from their hearts حنفاء worshiping him alone and establishing the salat and giving the zakat Allah تبارك وتعالى has forbidden فرقة has forbidden اختلاف has forbidden differences and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sunnah has forbidden that has forbidden that we differ and that we become enemies one to another this is forbidden in the deen of Allah this is haram this is something that displeases Allah wa ta'ala this is something that brings his wrath and his anger and his chastisement upon upon us all of us should feel the need to correct the situation and there are many issues that are splitting us 